Well, you found your man. Um, what does Ryan bring to the table that really set him apart from uh, the other guys that were possibly in the running for the position of head coach for this historic franchise? Well, Ryan is the next guy, right? Ryan is that guy who is on the verge. Uh, and I made the example, uh, made a couple of examples uh, earlier uh, that, you know, when I came here, Bob Obilovich was the guy. But Bob Obilovich was hired around the same age uh, as Ryan is now. He was a former player who was hired at that time and uh, one of the most consistent guys uh, we've had over over course of time. When you look around, Wally Bono was hired the same way. Dave Dickinson was hired the same way. And, and so it really is taking those guys who are there, who we can grow with, who we can deal with, right? We will we will have expectations of being better, right? Um, but but we, we we're not going to put put the pressure of saying you you win in a great cup next year. But we are going to build, and, and so the 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 combination of of um, the things he brings uh, are one. Um, his dad was a football coach, and he's a football nut. He went from being four or five years old and grew right up on that sideline, and went from uh, being the ball boy to two-time state champion. Then he was the most efficient quarterback in uh, uh, college football history in terms of quarterback efficiency rating. He played in the NFL, the CFL, and uh, the over in, uh, in in NFL Europe as well. And, and, and so when you look at that, his breadth of experiences and having played the position, and, and, uh, and so we really do want a team, have a team that is exciting offensively, that has that quarterback back coach when you look at the last two times we've won uh, the Grey Cup they've been both times yeah, the head guy has been uh, a quarterback coach uh, offensive coordinator type and so we, we are following history and the things that have worked well uh, for us over time and, and as well he's going to be here throughout the offseason his home is going to be here uh, the coaches that he's uh, looked at to bring on uh, the majority of them are going to be here and living in the city we have uh, um, you know, idea, ideas of making sure that we give back to minor football, that our coaches themselves give one day a month during the offseason to minor football to help to promote, to, to coach, to mentor uh, uh, young coaches who are out there and helping our, our, our younger ones in football. And so um, this was a, a, a decision that uh, um, wasn't one thing. It's so many levels, right? And so um, trying to layer decisions and, 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 and um, uh, you know, kind of creating quality decisions uh, is, uh, um, I think, uh, what we'd like to see um, um, as a habit. You talk about layering decisions with free agency, the draft. I mean, obviously, not too far away in the season. You know, mere months away. How important was it to get Ryan settled now, get him signed, and have him moving forward? Especially when you know, trying to lure free agency, lure free agents, and and especially drafting. Yeah, I, I think the he, coaching the coaching staff is the most important thing here because um, there are a lot of you know very good coaches who've who've already made decisions in different places, and so um, to make sure he can fill out a robust staff, I think is that number one thing, and then being able to identify our own uh, free agents, the guys that are with us, and then moving on to uh, the free agents that might be across the league, and then we'll kind of keep on moving on to the draft and those things. So there's a natural progression as the offseason, but I think the primary thing for him is really to get his teachers in place. I like to say teachers rather than coaches sometimes because that's what we should be doing. Patient enough to teach, you know, to so that when those guys get on the field, they don't have to think about it. It's automatic, right? It's just a part of who they are. Right?